AutoCAD PNID includes various types of symbols that represent inline accessories. These items exhibit different behavior from equipment symbols, since they are more closely tied to the schematic line. In this lesson, we'll learn how to edit these symbols. Inline accessories include items such as control valves and valve bodies. They also cover fittings and instruments. In addition, trim symbols and connectors could be considered inline accessories. The primary difference is how the item connects to a schematic line. They can break a line segment or line segment group. When the line moves, the symbol moves. If the line is deleted, the symbol is deleted as well. From the Home tab, Project Panel, click Project Manager. Select the Project Setup tool. When the dialog opens, expand the PNID Drawing Settings, expand Engineering Items, then Inline Assets. Expand Hand Valves to see the entire list. The default project includes a list of nearly every valve type possible, but not every asset has a symbol associated with it. For example, select the Angle Ball Valve. We don't have a symbol for this, and ISA doesn't specify how this symbol should look. Select the angle valve. There are two symbols available, a conventional angle valve style and an ISA angle valve style. This is the fun part. Don't reinvent the wheel, but use an existing symbol to make your own version. In other words, cheat. Select the angle valve style symbol. Click Edit Block to open the Block Editor. Once the Block Editor is open, let's save this as another block. After picking the Save As tool, name the block Angle Ball Valve. This adds a block to the Master PROJ Symbol Style Drawing, which stores all of the project symbols. Next, type in C for Circle. You'll see a list of commands starting with C. Pick the circle command. Select the intersection of the triangles as the center point. For the radius, type in 0.125. When finished, save the block and close the block editor. Select the angle ball valve asset. From the dialog, select the Add Symbols tool. Make sure you're seeing the current project folder. If not, browse to it. Select the Pro Symbol Style Drawing. When the list appears, pick the Angle Ball Valve block. Select Add to include the block as an option. When a symbol is added, the Edit Symbols dialog is displayed. You can edit symbol properties before or after a symbol is added. For symbol name, type in Angle Ball Valve. The General Style properties let you set the layer, color, line type, line type scale, and line weight. Set the layer to Equipment, the color to By Layer, the line type to By Layer, and the line weight to buy layer. Other properties includes the behavior of the block when it was placed. Leave the scale on insert setting to no, so the block is placed at the size it was created. I can also choose to rotate or mirror the block on insertion. Leave this set to no. An inline symbol will automatically align itself with the schematic line. For the tagging prompt, I prefer to let the program ask me about placing a tag, but you can also choose automatic placement or no tagging. For join type, make sure this is set to inline. When this is set, the valve will break the line, but the line on either side maintains its size, spec, system, and line number. If you choose Segment Breaker, 
Placing the valve allows you to change size, spec, system, and line number on either side of the valve. Segment Group Breaker allows a valve to break lines up that are in a group and ungroup the lines on the opposite side of the valve. Both Segment Breaker and Group Breaker are rare to use with valves, but will be more common with fittings such as a coupling. Leave the Auto Nozzle set to No. You can choose between different styles when this is turned on, including Assumed or Single Point, Single Line, Double Line, Flanged, and Front Facing Nozzles. We'll stick with No since we don't want to show a different connection symbol by default. Select Finish. If you get a warning about errors, you can cancel the warning and return to the dialog to fix the problem, or continue and accept the error. You can return to Project Setup and edit these settings at any time. The symbol is now added. Now, select Edit Symbol, and a dialog opens, which allows you to edit the symbol properties, general style, and other properties. Click Cancel to close the dialog. To finish, choose Add to Tool Palette. This will add the symbol to the current tool palette. Don't worry if you don't have the equipment palette current. Select OK to close the dialog. To move the symbol, right click on the symbol and choose Cut. Open the Valves tab and then choose Paste. The symbol is now on the right palette and is ready to add to your drawing. Now that you've learned how to edit these symbols, take the time to build up your library. It will save you a great deal of time and give you standards right out of the gate.